Hi, this is Alan Edwards. This is the method I use to climb my mast on my sailboat. I don't recommend it because it's really complicated. So if you think it's too complicated, don't bother saying a, that in a comment because I know that. When I first tried it, it was really scary. Uh, but I've developed a couple of tricks and I made this video to share those tricks. So it basically uses a Grigri, an ascender, and a pulley to make a three to one system. Here I'm threading the climbing line th through the shackle and notice I'm not going to use the shackle. I'm using the the eye so that if the shackle opens, I'm safe. And one of the tricks is a really long tail. So I use a bowline because sailors know bowlines. Climbers don't like them because they can slip and kill you. But if you tie a proper bowline and you have a tail that long, it's not going to slip. And then put a, a stopper knot in the end because you're going to be putting your, your ascender on there and you don't want it to slip off the end. So if, here I'm raising that up to the top and um, wrapping it good around the winch and cleaning it off. Now next, to take the Grigri and install it in the normal way. Now here it's going on the line. Make sure you got the up and the up direction. And then it's important what direction you put the, the carabiner in because when you get to the top, you're going to, when to come down, you're going to rethread that to generate a lot of friction so that it's very smooth descent. And when you get to the very top, you're going to tie that kind of knot on there and that is going to keep the Grigory from slipping when you unweight it when you're standing up. So that's an important little trick you want to check and one of the complications of this thing and again the reason I don't recommend it but if you're really into it and you're going to do it you might as well do it right so you put the um, the ascender on there and next we're going to put the pulley and it's going to be a similar thing you're going to put the pulley around uh, the rope and the pulley and then clip that on and you're going to be taking that off at the top so you want to make sure that you can get at it and that the carabiners are locked you always use locking type so here's the foot strap um, some people comment I'm, I'm overly cautious because I use both a, a um, climbing harness and a, and a chair well I don't trust the chair and the climbing harness is very uncomfortable so I use both and I attach one to the chair to my basic climbing there, I climb with the chair, and then the the um, climbing harness is the redundancy. So this system is completely redundant. Now I use a knot. I'm not sure what this thing is. I was taught it at REI. You can use a pressic. This is similar. There's a name for it. Uh, this is just easier. You thread it around a few times, and then uh, I mean you wrap it around your your safety line a few times, and then you thread it through the end. It's an asymmetric thing, unlike a pressic. But it works really well. It goes up real easy, and if you pull down, it's going to stop you. And then I clip that to my um, my harness with a carabiner. Again, locking. Make sure you lock them. So I'm going to get the foot straps on next. I purposely don't tell you how long to make the foot straps because... This is your setup, it's not mine, and um, you're going to have to experiment and get it right and be comfortable with it and try it in, in your garage or somewhere before you go up a mast. So it's pretty easy to go up. You have a not quite a three to one advantage because there's friction, but it's still close. People call it three to one, it's not. You put your feet on the, you know, I have dual foot straps there. Some people use one. So you can climb, you can stand up and pull at the same time. You're pulling, you've got three to one on your right hand. You've got one to one on your left hand. You've got foot. Um, and then the safety line, you can just follow that up. I go about every three, three pulls. And then I move the safety line up. Nope, I did four that time. So we're going to go up 
uh, this is real time. So it's going to take a while. I apologize for that. A lot of people drop out. But it's pretty interesting. The really interesting stuff is at the top. I should probably give you the the number for that. If you go to my website, it just breaks us up into three sections and, and has much better descriptions on it. Um, when I first published this, and you may have gone to the first link, I had this uh, no audio track. Okay, there you can see I'm starting to see me from the the dock going up. Um, but the website's got a lot more description, really tells you how to do it. And please follow the links to Amazon off that site. Uh, I should, probably should put them below on this, but I haven't done that. It helps a lot. I get uh, a lot of my kitchenware off of that. Uh, they give me a small commission. And that's why people want you to follow the links. You might find that you follow the link and they say, hey, click here and you can give to charity. Well, that's nice for charity, but not so much for me. So here I'm at the spreader. I have a single spreader. That's the hardest part is getting past a spreader. Your knees tend to hit it. But since you've got such good leverage up above on the on your hands, it works out just fine. Again, you've got one to one on the left hand, you've got three to one on the right hand, you've got your feet. Um, so it's just super easy to go up and it's trivially easy to go down. I mean it's there's no virtually no effort at all to go down. takes a little getting used to at the top. Some people complain because I undo the carabiner, but I'll tell you, you're, you've got such weight and it's so loaded, you could get that off of there if you tried. I mean, you couldn't get your, your safety, uh, your bosun's chair unclipped. I suppose if you stood up, you could, but why would you do that? So I'm right now, that's the uh, topping lift that I've gotten to, which is pretty high up. So we're getting there. You can see from the view, we're getting up there. I must say it takes a while to get used to getting up on the top of a mass, particularly if you've got people on the deck that are walking around, they'll make the boat swing. It doesn't bother me at all now. So you do get used to it. Okay, so we're still going up, and we're getting right at the top. You can see we've gotten to the knot and the that line. I get it off to the side because you're going to use it. So the idea at the top is you want to be able to get to the top of the mass, and you've got the the ascender above the grigri, and you want the grigri all the way at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect things. So first we're going to disconnect the pulley. And that's where you want to make sure you have the direction right so you can get at it. And then just clip it. I'm going to clip it uh, to my harness. And then you're going to undo the um, ascender and lower that down. And I have a second loop in the foot loop so I can shorten the foot loop. And again, I'm going to lock it and then you can go up and with a combination of the, the feet now being on a different line, you can get all the way to the top. So that is one of my tricks. I guess I'm actually redoing this to put the second uh, shortening on. I have two of those loops and I should have just gone directly to the, the the shorter one. So you put that on and lock it. You're, there's no pressure. You're not, it's not holding you up at that point. So then you go you get that all the way to the top and then you unlock the carabiner, put your line through it and lock it back up. And here, like I say, you're really loaded. So and then you do that kind of loop. You turn that loop around and lock it. And that way, 
otherwise, when you unload the, the Grigory by standing up above the top of the mast, um, it'll slip when you get back down. It's unnerving. So it doesn't slip now. Again, you can get up at the top. You can examine this, that, or the other thing. You can change your Windex. You can adjust things. You can whatever you want. You're right up there with it easily. And, and there's no there's no real stress doing that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, go down. For that, we just as soon take our foot loop with us. So we're going to take that and we're going to take the uh, carabiner. We'll unlock that and clip that to ourselves. So that it comes down with us. And then we're going to take the, the safety knot off of the Grigory, but we're going to leave the Grigory through the carabiner, and that gives two degrees of friction on it. And so we can open it completely and just feed it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the safety line, the, the um, Prusik equivalent, whatever that thing's called, in our hand along with the line. And because there's so much friction, it's so controlled, you, you just open the Grigory completely and you just go down. I think I show that from the dock coming up. Yep, here it comes. And again, when you when you get to the spreader, you've got to get around the spreader. So there's a little bit of fooling around there. Getting yourself off the spreader. You can come down really fast if you want. I don't. But, you know, it's just... There's no effort at all to come down. So it's... You know, like I said, I don't recommend it because a lot of ways you can mess it up and unless you use it and really are familiar with it. Um, the other way I have on my website uh, uses two ascenders. But I like this because it's easy. Um, and you get down real easy and get up easy. It's just complicated, so I don't recommend it. But go ahead, visit ldash36.com, subscribe if you would. Um, you can hit the little bell and see the updates, but um, the, I tell you, I don't do a lot of them. I, I actually, during the racing season, I publish my races once a week, but um, they're not extremely popular. Some people love them. Uh, they're about three minutes each. So visit ldash36.com, follow the links to Amazon. And uh, get the equipment there. I get this small commission. And I hope you enjoyed this. That's basically it. I'm just going to get out and walk down. So this is the annotated version. Uh, it replaces the one with the obnoxious music. Thank you.